Okay, so I will be doing an example from Griffith uh, Electrodynamics in Chapter 5. And the uh, question reads that we have a um, current I uniformly distributed over a wire of circular cross section with radius A. And we have to find the volume current density J. Uh, so in this first part, the process is straightforward. Since the current density is distributed uniformly, Uh, this has a radius A, and I goes like this. Since this is a uniform distribution of the current, we know that the uh, for part A, the current density will just be equal to I divided by the area. So that would be uh, the area of a circular cross section is pi a squared. Now for part b, if we go ahead and vary the current density in the wire and we make it proportional to the distance from the axis such that j equals ks for some constant k, now the question becomes what's the total current I in the wire? And of course, in this case, we do have to integrate. So uh, we know that J is equal to DI over DA perpendicular. What this DA perpendicular means is that we have to take the cross-sectional area that is perpendicular to the flow of the current I. And uh, if I were to um, show you here how this will work out. If I were to take this circular cross section of the wire and I know that di is equal to j da perpendicular and if I integrate both sides so I can put an integral sign here and an integral sign here. So the next step becomes integral of di is i. j, of course, is ks. And now the question becomes, what's this guy here? And for this guy here, we're going to take a small piece right here. And we know that the length of this is ds and if this angle here is phi then this will be uh, sd phi if of course this is from here to here is s so this becomes sd phi and since the area is just the width of the piece times the length, this would just be S D S D phi. And so we're going to replace D A. So this is D A perpendicular, and we're going to replace this with mm -hmm. S D S D phi. Of course, and here we have the integral is on a surface area. So this is a double integral k s squared ds d phi. We are integrating phi from 0 to pi to 2 pi because we're going around the entire cross section. And then s goes from 0 to a because the radius is just a. And this integral is fairly straightforward. We can d phi will just give us a factor of 2 pi because from 0 to 2 pi. And ks squared becomes k less cube over 
3 from 0 to A. So that means I0 will just zero this out. The lower bound and the upper bound will end up end up with 2 pi k a cube over 3. And this would be the total current in the wire. That does it for this question. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.